fake I love to throw against a, a passive fighter. Because he's the one that's just going to stand there and let me close at my leisure. And I know he's not going to charge me. If he charges me, this works out fully for me. But he'll stand there, let me close with him, and let me swing down to play. And it's a great one shot kill. It's just embarrassing for him, and it's funny as hell for me. <laughs> However, if I've judged him wrong, and, and I go to do that, and he steps right up into it, because where I turn that thing over, I'm just all kinds of in an awkward place. And it's really dependent, because really I'm throwing a quick turnover wrap in nowhere into a flat stand. But all of a sudden, if I'm caught up here at the first time, it's just like Yeah, Sean has a beautiful little trick, and this is, uh, uh, he throws the leg shot that he was hitting me with for a long time, and I was so frustrated because I knew I was blocking the shot and still getting it. And for me, I go turn around and just throw a shot at my leg. For me, he was throwing a flat snap to my leg, and I was blocking it. It's a very simple block for me. For me, it's just taking my the point of my elbow, putting it on my hip, and it puts that point of my shield right there, and I'm covered. So I'm blocking this flat snap all day long, and I'm getting hit in the leg every time. Because he's not throwing a flat snap. His shot looks like a flat snap all the way to here. At that point, and this is a little bit advanced sword work, but uh, if you play the swords enough, you know there's a, a balance point kind of between your arm and the sword. The sword is an easy one to rotate on. Make fast pivots on, as opposed to trying to rotate the handle with a lot of muscle and slow, slowness going on. So if you have a good control of where that balance point is and how to rotate about it, you can come all the way out here, come around that balance point, and land with power and back away. So I was seeing a flat snap all the way to there. Just missing it is blocked, because I already threw the block. And getting hit right behind the knee. Just above the Perfect target, two inches above the knee. Exactly where you hit somebody. Farthest away you can get and still be legal. And it's thrown at speed. It looks, if you try and explain this to somebody without a pill, it makes no sense. But it looks like that. And it hits with power. But my basket belt has actually come all the way in front of me, right between me and my opponent. And I make that rotation on that and with the tip of the sword with the power. With the sword. If I can come right here, I get a fair amount of power, not too much. Add in the to it, it lands real hard. It also works nicely against the uh, full weapon. Also helps if you have a heavy basket. 
the balance point. It does change with the balance point of your blade, although he uses a pretty light sword and I use a really heavy sword. And it works for both of us, but you do have to learn how to throw the mechanics to get the feel for that. And it's a weird thing because what really happens is your hand comes here and then your hand actually goes through an arc like this, making you with your hand around the balance point of your sword in order to make it come in. And so it's it's not a real straightforward thing to get from here to there. Because if you just try and force it around the wrist like you like most people want to throw around, you'll have no power, it'll be clumsy or whatever. You've got to come around that. But if you can find somebody that knows how to throw it or get some time with me, I'll be happy to work with you on the hell on it. It's a nice shot. It will take a while to practice that to make it work. <laughs> However, the Argent's leg shot looks really nice. Which is another thing. And he does it much better than I do. But Garton, if he wants that leg, he's going to throw a flat snap at you. And usually with a stick. And what he's doing is he's going to throw for him right through where this hip is with that leg. So he wants to snap and step here and rotate his hip out of the way in order to return to there. And then you get that pop right there. He's really good at it. He will draw your defense here. he's looking for is as he throws his shot, he's looking for you to rotate your hip and your body into that shot. That's a real shot. He comes right back there and does it beautifully. I don't do it as pretty as he does, but it works. Just, just selling that, getting that defense into this corner, throwing to that corner. And he's just, basically he's throwing, a lot of times, at least for me, I'll throw this flat because I'll throw that flat because really what I'm looking for is that. And so I'm setting up my blade angle here, even though I'm front flat to the side of his head. I'm, set, I'm setting myself up for that shot. And uh, it would probably be a little less deceptive if we fought with real swords. And you were good enough to actually pay attention to the fact that it was a flat headed sword instead of an edge. But with we're tandem with swords. So. With a real sword, you can still do it. You just, there's just more, more of a transition involved in the hand. So, if I want to hit him in the leg, and there's some mechanics involved in this because uh, throwing a teardrop return, which is an old Bellatrix return, it's actually back with the hip. There's a rotation. The sword comes around there, and you're ten you got tension all the way from the ground. So you got power coming right off that foot from the ground into the next shot. Very fast, very powerful return. The mechanics have to take a little bit of practice to get that mechanic into the shot. But it's fast. So I want his leg, but he's going to want to defend that leg. So I need to get his shield away from the leg. So I'm going to throw for his head and then down to the leg. What I'm looking for is I want to get that defense right up there and try and beat him down to his leg. So part of that speed, but a big part of it is get him to cover something. Or get him to cover over here in order to throw to that side. Um, sometimes I'll throw a shot that isn't intended to hit at all. Just block his defense up there. Come right over the head. Into the real shot. Again, it's got to be believable. If I do this, that's not very believable to a good good fighter. That's that's not a threat to him. That's not that's me playing with my sword around. Like cowboy. Well, I need that shot to come right over his head. Yeah, or right past the head into the real shot. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll show you a couple of a couple of tricks. I'll show you my favorite tricks against people on the ground. Um, anybody who's watched much of my fighting has probably seen my favorite. <laughs> my, favorite my, favorite shot. my favorite thing to do is close right in, chop right across the forehead, come right on up over him, and hit him in the head. So what I did was I threw a shot which did a couple of things. It, it throws his offense and it allowed me to close. So I'm stepping right into range with a shot that he's got to defend. Okay, now I'm in range. Now I'm coming, I'm coming forward over this leg, 
up. Okay, look where you did. He came right with me. And he gave me this nice big opening. So, okay. I blinded him while I was moving up. And just it's just a psychological thing. The last thing he saw was a threat going that way, and he went with it. Um, what, which is why I do this now. <laughs> One of my more favorite things that you won't see as often, but it's just by itself work. Same thing, I'll have to say close. Close. Deep step for the wrap. Right there. And when it really works well, you get them to really believe that wrap, you gotta sell this wrap. So I come in, boom, full on wrap and put a kid in. He'll throw that sword right behind his head, go back, and that belly is wide. Open. Just like that when I hit him in the belly. And I love hitting somebody in the belly with their sword and their shield behind their head. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll show you a, a shot here, and this is mostly it, 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 it's deceptive in that your opponent just simply doesn't know where it went. Um, this has kind of been a favorite of mine for about the last year or so. Throw a shot, and what I'm really doing is throwing a shot down his head, and so the reaction is for this shot. trying to hit is I'm trying to hit the back border of his helmet. But this isn't the shot I'm after. So I'm, I'm going to step in here, I'm going to throw that shot, and my real shot is going to come to his belly right there. Or his face. Or your grill. <laughs> I'm not going you forward. You know why? It's because he's skinny. Just yeah. pull it back. If I throw that shot, they're going to be in high guard. They're oh, probably going to block it. Plastic. I'm putting my hand right up above their eyes. In most people's helmets, they lose sight of my hand. So they've lost sight of my hand, and the first time they get an idea what's happening is about there, when all of a sudden the blade comes into view. And the shot is really just a rock front blade, back blade, right there. And the trick is, the approach for the first shot, the angle I throw that at, determines the angle it's gonna rebound back the other way. So it, it's a tick-tock thing that I'm doing over here in front of my left shoulder. shield up and he, and he looks up that now I can see my hand see his turnover and do something about it there, there is no universal trick everything has it everything has an answer just a matter of being one answer ahead of me um, I throw the offside a lot of my in the offside most obvious thing for the offside is you set it up with a flat snap. So I'll throw flat snaps, flat snap, flat nose. Like that is uh, he throws the offside at me and I strike it. 
I drive his blade down out of position and set myself up. He was coming out of his blade going someplace. I made it go somewhere else. Now he's got to adjust to that. And it was part of my plan. <laughs> Little things like the step. There's a video if any of you looked at. Uh, I started doing some analysis on the video of the Italian crest. And the shot is just like that. Uh, and his face is as simple as that. And all it did is it got a little bit of a on the ground and so Jarton's down here. Sharif is kind of modified somewhere. Because Sharif plays in 
still did here, and then he'll come, and sometimes he said, I fought and started with a great weapon. What I learned immediately was that I needed to do something to create some time for myself to be able to hit, to hit on this side or grab them uh, at the hip with a great weapon. So if I stood in front of someone and I decided I wanted to try to hit them over here, I couldn't just go like this because by the time I cranked it back, this side of my body. So what I learned is that I had to do something to distract. So a lot of my shots weren't meant to actually kill. It was meant for them to raise their shield up and block themselves. And from there, I would start my circle to do my motion. But at the time I would throw that shot, I would go like this. So the second I hit and distracted them, I took my step. And I would talk to them with sword and shield and with great weapons. I was using and starting with the single taking my step and then I will go ahead and do the wrap. A distraction, or I'm sorry, a blind, that would be more of a distraction because I'm throwing something up here. If I wanted to bind myself more time and be able to take a deeper step in there, I throw in a distraction and as he's distracted, I'm taking my step, then I throw up a blind. Now I can cross this way if I want to, pull and take that last step. So when you throw the distraction in and you throw a blind, it allows you to do a crossover here because even if they come down low, you're stepping here and your shield's dropping. And by stepping up, it allows you to do that. So it's the reason why you're good, you're off targeting now is you're throwing here and then you're coming to here when before you were starting here. So when you throw the shot, let that fall right back to here to practice that. Now look at my hand versus yours. I'm not going, I'm going, see how my hand is higher? Because that's going to allow that to bounce off, and you're going to use that flick power to set you back for that shot. I'll let you know where we decide. This flick, instead of throwing the flick like that. Have you ever taken Taekwondo? Nope, a little bit, but do you remember that reverse touch? It's almost a reverse punch, so when you're here, I'm going to lead, think of leading with this hip like that, so I go. The reason why is because now that has my, I use my foot a little bit to get some power off of there, but it also puts that foot up on the ball, so now I'm ready to take my step. So I'm here, I go. Think of, don't think of hitting right here, just think of hitting right here because you're not trying to kill, you're trying to distract. Maybe that can be a little bit too much for now. But no, I'm just saying, but you were working on that shot. So let's just work on whatever you do, come back to here, then take the step and throw. So think of that, is what, that's all that that shot is. And that is masking you taking that step over there. in Taekwondo, but now the end of your fist is just right here. So it's, so I'm here and
Now, if I want the, if I wanted to pop you with the end of this piece of cord, I go. But I go. And that's how you would do a bull whip. You have to go and pull it back and let it travel the whole way. Same thing with the sword when you're throwing that shot. So kind of whip it out there. Think of your going to pull it back and let the other end thing instead of going you're just going because you're just distracting yeah hit with the tip so that means take a step back take another step back take another step back yeah, so now you're going to hit with the tip of the sword. <laughs> because you, no matter what, you kept leaning forward to try to hit in the middle. So now hit, no, stay right there and hit the tip of the sword on the... Again. 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 Keep doing that till it feels natural. Okay, so the reason why you're missing it is because now you're leaning this way, which, look, if I touch that, and then I'm going to lean in with this hip first. Without even moving my hand, I shorten my shot. That's the reason why you need to lead with that, that hip. So, get back into your position. Push my hand as you throw the shot. Again. Again, push with that hip. Push. 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 Now you're starting to feel the whip part of it. Push. See how your hip activates, then the sword comes Again. 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 Lead. Okay, now that is what's going to start that. Because you have to think of the power being generated here, and it goes through your core, up your body, out your arm. And that way. Alright? There we go. There we go. You know what to. Who's on this one right here? All right. So just getting your. Getting so your your shield leg forward. You are shield leg forward. Your forward leg forward. Shield leg forward. Right. No, no way. I'm gonna get all four. I'm going to mess with your mind a little bit because this will help you with the flow of that. Anybody here that's at the front line done taekwondo? or any type of hard martial art which knows what a reverse punch is. All right? This is what we you and I were talking about. I don't lead with this hip when I do my flip. I don't do that. I lead, even though it's the same motion, I visualize that I'm pushing with this portion of my leg. All right, it's not going to work for you because you're doing sword leg forward. If you want to practice it with your shield leg forward, so, when you're first doing your flip, I want you to first push with your hip there. I don't want the sword to go through the pelt. I just want you to get it in there and then just do that. Just with the hip. Stand in front of this hand, and then you're going to take this hand, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
instead of rotating here, they're actually rotating that hip forward as it works to the offside. Which seems, it's still in my brain, explaining it like that seems like that won't work. But if you explain it differently, if you picture throwing a punch, that's the mechanics of throwing a punch. So really what I'm doing is I'm throwing a punch. Which is why I had to explain it to work my hands when I was trying to figure I do that all day long. It doesn't work. Take throw it out of my hand, I can throw a punch. That works fine. So I would sit here at the Pell, throwing a punch off into space, take the sword in my hand, and then throw the shot. Shield. 